Jacob is with us in Seattle. Hi, Jacob. How are you? I'm doing well, Dave. Ken, thanks for taking my call. I appreciate it. Sure. What's up? All right. So um, me and my wife uh, are currently, have no doubt, uh, looking to purchase a house in the upcoming couple years. We have a little bit of a disagreement on how we are going to be saving the money. Um, I'm, uh, I have a higher risk appetite than she does. I would like to put it into like a diversified ETFs and try to get a little, try to get the money to work for us for the upcoming few years before we purchase. And she would like to put it into a high yield savings account. So we know exactly where we're going to be mm-hmm. in three years. Okay. Um, how would you suggest to go about finding a compromise with that? Well, I think what you both need to realize is that this decision is not going to keep you from buying a house or yes. cause you to be able to buy a house. So let's do the math for a second, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. How much are you talking about saving? Um, it, we would like, I would like to purchase a house that we're going to be in for the next 30, 40, basically our lifetime. So Good luck um, with that. But probably, yeah, it usually doesn't work that yeah. way. But, but how much um, are you talking about saving to- in the next three years? Uh, about 200000 Okay. And so if you make 10% on this money, you're going to make 20000 bucks. If you put it in a high-yield savings, you're going to make nothing, and you'll lose 20000 bucks. But 200000 is what's going to cause you to be able to buy the house, and 220 is not going to cause you to buy a substantially different house. So the fact that you made a little money on your money is more of an intellectual exercise than a factual change in your situation. Okay, that makes sense. I'm following you. Okay, and so, uh, and, and the same thing's true with her. Let's say you put it into an ETF and it did not make 10% a year. You had a bad three-year run in the stock market. Stock market in general was down. You got tagged, you know, in the face with this thing, which could happen in a three-year swing. And uh, you don't have 200000 You end up with 180000 So you actually lost money. You follow me? Still doesn't keep you from buying a house. So my point is your concern that you're not making a bunch of money is somewhat mathematically invalid. Her concern that you're going to lose so much that you're going to not be able to get a house is also not really mathematically valid. This is all more about emotion than it is actual dollars. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm following you. Yeah. So anyway, all that to say, how do we solve this? Um, Probably at our house, uh, we'd probably end up splitting the baby. We'd probably get let me do uh, put a hundred thousand over in investments, and she'd put a hundred thousand over there. And at the end, we would see who won the bet. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, so you would say, put it, do a fifty-fifty down the middle. Yeah, yeah. I don't think there's anything wrong with that at all. Because, but again, before you do this, both of you need to really own the fact that this is not going to cause you to buy a house or not buy a house. It's just more of an argument over how we park the money. So I, I yeah. got to weigh in here. Uh, you know, look, I, I think you do exactly what Dave just laid out. Walk her through that, both sides of the coin. Then I would see how she's reacting to that. And if her safety gland is still flaring, oh, I'm I, going with mama. You know what? I'm happy just, wife, happy life. Well, that's the other alternative. That's the other alternative. Yeah, you don't lose on that one. <laughs> because right. if you win, if you put it yeah. all in there and you go down thirty grand, I told you that's so. going to cost Woo. you thirty years yeah. of remembering <laughs> that. Yeah, that's the truth. And it maybe some jewelry. It's going to cost you a thousand dollars a year in memory. That's my. Take. You remember back in oh. twenty three when you didn't do what I said do? Oh, I remember, the this is, it, they have memories. Oh, oh they have memories. Like elephants, elephants have nothing on women. Yeah, this is true. They remember yeah. forever. I, Especially I, when they're right. That's even more devastating. Which, again, if you want to which be is married. Which most of the time, actually. Well, that, that's what you need to come to that conclusion yeah. as well. So this is not even a mathematical Who question at all. Who can find a virtuous wife? For her yes. worth is far above rubies. The yep. heart of her husband safely trusts her, yep. and he will have no lack of gain. So at our house, we probably, today we would split the baby. 20 years ago, when we were still a little fresher, the, the, the nerves were still a little more raw after going broke. Yeah. We probably would have parked it yeah. in a high-yield savings yeah. and we're not taking any risk because Sharon was so terrorized yes. emotionally by what we went through that 
it took a decade for her to go, and we had to have a big old pile of money to where she could go, oh, if you screw yeah. that up over there, it ain't going to kill and us. And she's still one of the most frugal people I know. Oh, my God. The it's woman will pick up an old used golf ball right. like no one I have ever seen. <laughs> We have a collection of old used golf she's balls. She's over the weeds picking up. Un- she's going to get bit by a snake <laughs> getting, a, getting a golf ball that's worth 50 oh, cents gosh. because it's already been hit by the mower. Yeah. It's unbelievable. The yeah. woman is, oh, gosh. Yeah. Yeah, she, no, frugal, frugal, don't even touch it. Yeah. All right. And, and, and that's a compliment, my oh, darling. It's a total compliment. It's a compliment, my darling.